All right, thank you, Tony. Now we continue to track Sandy's impact in southern New England. Cleanup is still going on in the hard hit Mesquamacid area of Westerly, and we've learned the recovery effort will likely put up, be put on hold Wednesday and Thursday because of that nor'easter Tony's been talking about. Meanwhile, one and a half million homes and businesses remain without power eight days after Sandy hammered the East Coast. And tomorrow, local tourism business will travel out of state to bring food and other items to those still struggling from Sandy. The Pinpoint News Tracker shows you where they'll be headed. Rockaway Beach, New York. Eyewitness News reporter Steve Nielsen joins us now from the Providence Mobile Newsroom with more. It's only been a few days since we told you about locals trying to help out the victims of Hurricane Sandy. And already they tell us the response has been more than they ever imagined. <laughs> Packing for those who need it most. It's a kid's shoes. Hurricane Sandy hit Rhode Island hard, but nothing like what it did to New York and New Jersey. Providence headquarters for G Adventures wanted to help. Originally, they were asking for donations to fill up one bus and send it down to those in need. There's just been so much help, friends and family. It's been amazing. We had to actually go from one bus to three buses now. Donations poured in after our story aired last week. The business is transformed into an assembly line overnight to pack up as fast as possible. Here we've got women's pant size small. We're marking everything so that when we get to that shelter, uh, we can stay really organized and stay, uh, you know, passing things out to people who really need it. Excellent. Everything's been donated from clothes and toys to gas cans and generators. The hope that we're giving them with just these things, you know, some shirts in here and, and essentials, it's just going to brighten their day and give them some hope. Maybe it's that little bit of hope that helps some recover from disaster. G Adventure says if they get any more supplies, they'll keep heading down there to help out the victims of Hurricane Sandy. Reporting with the Mobile Newsroom, Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.